India has abstained from voting on the UNHCR resolution against Sri Lanka on alleged human rights violations, explaining the move. India's permanent representative to the UN in Geneva said, unlike in the past, this resolution was an intrusive approach that undermines national sovereignty. The sponsors of this resolution, led by the United States and Great Britain, have said that it's an important step towards ending the culture of impunity in Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan government has rejected this resolution and has said that it has been motivated by LTTE sympathizers who do not want to see progress in the country. Despite India's abstention, the vote has been passed, but India has made it clear that Sri Lanka will have to make some efforts to make itself seem credible before the international community. We encourage Sri Lanka to fulfill its own commitments and its, conduct its own investigations in such a way that they are credible and uh, they are looked upon by others as being uh, acceptable investigations. We were never against Sri Lanka. We are always with Sri Lanka in this process. We have, at the highest political level, we have conveyed to Sri Lanka that we stand for national reconciliation in Sri Lanka. We stand for uh, peace and prosperity in Sri Lanka and we will do whatever is possible to help Sri Lanka in this process and we wish it uh, success in this process. Well, they have passed lots of resolutions. They can pass resolutions. We will work and do things which are in the best interests of our people. We will continue to do that. Today it is Sri Lanka. Uh, tomorrow it can be any country. And I think it is very important that we deal with situations and we don't allow people to interfere in our countries because if we start doing that in any one country it becomes a very slippery slope.